Closer into these cells. Well, if we were to look closer into this chromosome, we could see that. Well, here's his DNA. Let's take a closer look at it. Here, here you go. In 1953, two men became famous for figuring out the structure of DNA. Mm. Uh, check it out. You're all up a healing time. Their names are James Watson and Francis Crick, and during their discovery, they noticed that the DNA structure resembled a twisted coil known as the infamous double helix. Watson and Crick's discovery paved the way for DNA research and led the scientific community to take a deeper look into the world of genes and heredity. In 1990, the Department of Energy and the National Institutes of Health, in collaboration with several countries worldwide, began conducting perhaps the biggest biology experiment ever, which sought to map out our DNA. They called this colossal endeavor the Human Genome Project. It is amazing to think about how our DNA has the instructions for making us who we are. But what is even more amazing is that DNA is made up of only four chemicals. That's right, just four chemicals. These chemicals are called adenine, cytosine, and thousands of different combinations. Sounds impossible when there are only four different chemicals, huh? Let's get down to the nitty-gritty and figure this out. When it comes time for these four bases to find a partner and pair up, there are rules. A's only bond with T's, and C's only bond with G's. DNA code for genes varies only 1.5% to that of a chimpanzee. That's 98.5% of the DNA that make up human genes. The similarity of human genes compared to mouse genes is about 85% and about 50% with a banana. Complete it's the set of instructions to make a new human being. It now contains genetic information from both parents. That is why you may look and act similar to both your mother and your father. When you look at human sex chromosomes, they are either in X shape, indicating female chromosomes, or Y-shaped for males. This newly copied or transcript section of DNA is now called ribonucleic acid, or RNA, and is a close chemical cousin of DNA. I'm DNA, and I'm RNA. I contain the genetic instructions for the biological development of a cellular form of life. Yeah, but dude, you never leave the nucleus. You really need to get out more. This RNA molecule has a special and specific job. It acts as a messenger carrying the DNA message outside the nucleus to the outer portion of the cell. It's overwhelming how much information about our genetic makeup we now have at our fingertips. With the leaps and bounds that we will make in the near future, genetic factors in health and disease will be revolutionized. With the exception of trauma, almost every human ailment has some genetic link. This knowledge of DNA is changing prevention, diagnosis, and treatment in all health fields. The Human Genome Project has allowed for many intriguing new discoveries that will certainly lead to the prevention of some of today's most deadly diseases. However, the sequencing of the human genome is just the beginning. For X-Science, I'm Brian Chaney.